Hi, my name is Greg, Battalion Chief with the Payette Fire Department. Today we are going to be doing some demonstrations on some different ropes that we're going to use in technical rescue. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off with doing a butterfly knot. I'm going to go ahead and do it two ways. So the first way is one that's taught quite a bit um, and shown, and that is you just lay the rope over the top of your hand. Wrap it one more time. Make sure you have a separation. And then your third wrap, just go into the center of that. Now you're going to take that outside loop, bring it to the inside of your palm, and wrap it completely under the two uh, loops that you've already done. Kind of pull it together so it's like that, and then you're going to snap it into position. Now you have a non-directional anchor point in your rope. So the second way I'm going to show you is if there is damage to your rope and you need to isolate it because this rope is still in service on the rescue. Um, it allows you to continue with the rescue, uh, but then afterwards you're going to have to do something with it to get it repaired. But it is just make a uh, bend and you're just going to Twist half, twist one full turn, and then you're going to pull the rope back over itself, and you want to basically have it look like a pretzel. Once that's done, take your hand, put it right through the center, grab the top of the bite where the damage of the rope is, or where specifically you want to, that uh, anchor point to be, pull it down again, and then pop it once again. And there we have the butterfly two ways. So next, I'm going to go ahead and have some of the other firefighters show you some of the different uh, knots that they know. So, my name is Jonathan Barrett. I'm with Pat Fire, Firefighter EMT. Today I'm going to show you the fisherman's knot. Got your two ropes, your rope, your two ends. Make sure you have a couple long tails to do this knot. Take your first one, you're going to fold it under. You come back against itself. It's going to look something like that. You should have a, two circles. Be an X on top. Pull it under. You got to tighten it up like that. Take your other side. Uh, kind of remember the way you went. You want to go the opposite. Again, back over itself. Let me get myself enough. Again, get through two circles, pull it back through. Should look like this at this point. Should have two X's, two lines. So when you pull it together, if I did it right, you have two X's on the bottom, four straight lines on the top. That is the fisherman's knot. Uh, you could use it for uh, tying a pressic to put on a line, um, be used as an anchor point. 
How's it going? My name is Tony Long. I'm a captain here at the Fayette Fire Department. Today I'm going to be showing you a figure eight, a few different ways to do it. Um, today we're going to start with a normal figure eight. I'm going to do it with a small rope. Um, this is the way I tie it. Um, all I do is I take uh, two twists, I run it right through, there's your figure eight. Pretty simple. Next, I'm going to show you a figure eight on a bike. This is one that gets used pretty much solely here at the fire department because it's so easy to remember. Um, there's a lot of other knots and a lot of other ways to do it, but this is the knot I like the most because it's easy to teach and easy to remember. Um, double up your rope. Same thing. Two loops. One, two. Right back up. You got your figure eight. Now you're going to have to clean it up. Just like any knot, you're going to have to make it look nice. Make it correct. Um, I don't like having my loop too big here, my bite. Um, so t for me, that's just about perfect. I can fit anything I want in the rescue department through that loop there. Um, tail's big if I want to make a safety. Um, you can make it longer if you, if depending on what you're using it for, you can make it longer, fit a pressic onto it, different types of uh, rescue situations. Um, but that's your, your uh, figure eight on a bite. So now I'm going to show you a figure eight um, with a follow through. This will work if you don't have, uh, if you need to connect both sides, let's say you're going around a large object um, and you're going to follow it through with the back, the back side of the tail. So first you make your figure eight. So one, two, pull your loop through, well, two, pull your loop through. Um, you're going to want to leave a little bit of tail and leave it a little loose because what you're going to do with the other side, you're going to follow it. You're going to figure out where this is and you're going to follow it exactly through all the way. Let me get a little more. Following it through, following it through. And there. Well, that's a great way to tie it together. Now, the more the more you're going to clean it up, just like any figure eight. If you need to, you tie your uh, tie your safeties, and that's figure eight on a follow through. Uh, my name is Corey Jones with Payet Fire. I'm a firefighter EMT here, and one of our training officers. Today, I'm going to show you uh, one of the ways, uh, one of a few ways to tie a bowline. This is uh, the way I like to tie it. Like I said, there's a few different ways to do it. So. It can be a little tricky with the hands. We'll have another video of an over the shoulder so you can see the hand work a little bit better. Um, but just simply, I'm going to take my rope. I'm going to lay it across my hand. I'm going to take my other end. I'm going to have one in each hand. So I'm just going to simply take my uh, short end here, and I'm just going to simply lay it over my hand in, in my left hand here. It's going to create a little cross right here. I'm going to take this and uh, I'm going to pinch my cross and I'm just going to simply flip it over and at this point in time we're just going to pop our end through here or as a lot of people use this will be our rabbit through the hole I'm going to take it and I'm going to go around 
my tree. And I'm going to come back into the hole. Okay, I'm going to grab my my rabbit and the uh, and in itself here. And I'm just going to simply pull. And here we have a bowline. And we're going to add our safety knot, which I'll just like to throw a quick figure eight on it. giving me my bowling with a safety. All right, now our last uh, knot that we're gonna be demonstrating today is gonna be the water knot. This one is where we can join uh, two pieces of flat webbing to make a strap with, extend the length of, and this will be good for uh, creating anchors, uh, creating uh, some harnesses uh, out of webbing if need be. So, first of all, we're just going to take and do a simple, quick overhand knot. And make sure that it is flat when uh, it's all laid out. Next thing you do is you're going to just do a follow through. Similar to what you did with the uh, figure eight follow through, is you're going to follow the lay of the water knot. And once it is all laid together. Go ahead and tug each strap of the webbing to tighten it up. And that is a water knot. Now, if you want, you can extend the tails out further and also add a safety to it. All right, that's going to conclude our uh, knots that we're demonstrating today. Hope this helps you out uh, with uh, your knot tying abilities. Uh, in our next video, we're going to be doing some rigging of systems for haul and also belay. So, hope to see you on the next one.